shake your booties for black girl nerds. Good morning, good afternoon. Thank you for your performances. Very, very wonderful. Lots of layered things that teenagers are dealing with in uh, little fires everywhere. For, for all of you, there's always an amount of teenage angst that happens when you get into high school and making friends and coming into your own. With your characters, what do you think that is the biggest challenges that each of your characters have to face during the course of this uh, first season, starting with? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. I think that, um, I think Tripp sort of faces these labels that are placed on him, and I think that, uh, like me personally as a person, I, I believe that everybody has a good heart and it, they can be corrupted, but I believe that Tripp has a good heart and that he has had many labels placed on him, uh, you know, player, jock, dumb, just whatever, and uh, and there is some truth to that, and that's the that's but but he has to shatter that, and he has to find who he truly is at heart, and he ends up becoming a better, more caring person uh, by the end, and and that's it's a, it's a cool transformation to see, and it was fun for me to sort of flesh that out and create that. And how about for your characters? Um, I think that Pearl is struggling with a lot of identity issues because you know her whole life, you know. Mia, her mom, has never really told her about her background or where she comes from. So I think that that in itself has been like a little issue that she's been dealing with for her whole life. But then when she does go to Shaker and, you know, she sees how the Richardsons live, she starts questioning, you know, the choices that her mom made for her. Um, so I think Pearl is just honestly just trying to find her voice and trying to, trying to see where she fits in and where she belongs. Uh, I think I think Moody's biggest problem is sort of the way he's always been treated by his family. Um, he sort of decided that he's this introverted kind of uh, general dislike of people. Um, and I think that's in a big part the way that his mom has set high expectations, the way that she looks at the two older siblings and goes, man, why can't you be more like them? And it's sort of pulled Moody back and made him the way he is. Although the, the two leads, uh, Reese Witherspoon and Carrie Washington, are very, very big in the adult world, a lot of younger people are going to tune in and watch all of your performance and relate to the different shades of you and find aspects of each of you in their lives. When you look at what teenagers are experiencing now, it's a different ball game with social media. They're exposed to so much more at a younger age. What do you think some of the biggest challenges teenagers are facing now and how they'll relate them to your characters. I think that, you know, with this age of social media, decisions can be made so impulsively and instantaneously. All it takes is a quick text message, you know, uh, or a picture sent. And, and you know, I think that they, that back in the 90s when there was less of that, a lot less of that actually, there's no real social media whatsoever. And, um, and I think that it took a little more forethought and time but the good news is that I think the teenagers now will kind of look back at that and see these relationships building and, and see some decisions that are made, but they're more slowly and there's more thought put into them because there has to be, because there's no way to just instantly, you know, uh, make a decision and, um, you know, tell something to someone quickly. Uh, and you, you have to put a little more thought into it. And I think that hopefully will help them to learn to maybe think a little bit more before certain decisions are made. And I think that's healthy. That's a really good point because this is set in the 90s and there isn't all that social media and that quick firing off. Do you find that as younger people growing up in this age, it it changed your process to acting by how you, Eric, since you didn't grow up in that era where there was nothing, but now you know you're already influenced in your own life by social media, those things. How do you, did that shape how you crafted your character and prepared for the role or start with you, Les? Um. Honestly, I don't I don't really think so. I don't think that, you know, what's like just social media wise and you know the difference between, you know, today's age and, and the nineties really like helped me um, craft out Pearl. I think it's more because like I said earlier, Pearl is going through things that I think that we all go through no matter where you're from, you know, what age you are or, you know, what time period it is. And you know, I think that everybody has a sense of wanting to belong and trying to figure out who they truly are. Um, and I think that, you know, you can even take that, you know, with social media when you're scrolling through your timeline and you, like, you see see things that are kind of like, kind of like set you back a little and you're like, wow, I, I wish I looked like that or I wish I was doing that. I think it's the same thing that's been happening. I think, you know, now we just have like little tiny phones mm -hmm. to help boost it a bit more. With Moody, 
I'm not really sure who, how to characterize Moody. You know, Moody is he seems he's a sweet guy. He has friends, so he's not necessarily an outcast, but he's kind of reserved. He's not a jock like his brother. He's not Miss America like his older sister, and he's not angsty like his younger sister. So how does he fit into the the family landscape. How would you characterize him? Yeah, I, I mean, I think deep down he wishes he could be more like Trip and Lexi, some somebody that's popular at school. But I think he, uh, in his attempts at that, he's failed, um, and that's why he's sort of ended up with just Carl being his one and only friend for how many years, and he can't seem to get out of that. So in the family, I think he fits in. I think if Izzy weren't there, that he would be the center of attention. I think Izzy sort of diverts a lot of the negative attention off of him. Um, but I think he's at this point kind of turned into just the uh, the neutral character in that he gets kind of harped on by his mom but isn't much of a problem. <laughs> and uh, lastly, you know, we have ve two very different moms with uh, Carrie's character and with Reese's character and how they interact with all of you at any different times. What do you think are the best characteristics of Carrie's character and the best characteristics of Reese's character? Uh, how about each of you give me one characteristic that you like about their roles in the in the show. I think that Carrie's really, really passionate, and I think that uh, Mia, Mia's, you know, her character is just so passionate, and fights and doesn't give up. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. It's really uh, admirable. And then I think Reese's character is the same way, uh, but I think she also is. Um, just very yeah str strong willed i mean they're both they're both that way uh, so much that that's almost sort of something for both of them that i'd say is just they're so strong willed and they're, they're just powerful motherhood and that's what you see in in both of them i think that you know both of them share you know the same kind of um, positive characteristic of you know just trying to protect your child and you know going to the ends of the earth for their child and you know just making sure that their child is protected and that they feel loved and you know both have very different ways of going about it you know Elena with Izzy we see that it's kind of like in a toxic manner but later on you know you see that she really cares about her children and it's the same with Mia. Mia truly cares about Pearl and that's why she's fighting to keep her. I love how layered Elena's character is. Um, I, I think it's somebody that's got a lot of past issues that's sort of being shoved down deep inside. And I'm, I mean, it's tough to speak for somebody else's character they've created, but it's a—it's just a really interesting character to watch because you can always tell that there's something happening under the surface. Um, and for Mia, I love the emotion she's brought to the character. Like, it's really cool to always be able to see how strongly she's feeling whatever situation she's in. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. I very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.